All right, we're live. Oh, God. We did it. Oh, and I said that, and immediately my voice, like, it does something <laughs> weird. You mean we're dead? Well, no, we're not in hell this time, so let's, oh. let's post this stream up elsewhere. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't know if I feel comfortable when we're not in hell anymore. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's how I relax now. <laughs> I can put us in hell. Nah, nah, we're this is chill. We don't need to be in hell. But I, I don't know. I don't All right, know. let me let me just like send out a a tweet real quick. Alright, I added everyone. Everyone cannot wait to watch us bullshitting about anime while playing video Absolutely. games. Absolutely, I mean, yeah. Alright, so let me just delete that. Oh, wait, no, I should probably also include the thumbnail. There we go. Uh, post, yeah, post all. There we go. Wonderful, beautiful. Turn the chill up to 11. What temperature is it right now? It's like probably like, I mean, the, ther so the thermostat says like 70 something. But it does not feel like 70 in my apartment right now. It's fucking hot today. It's like... It's actually really nice out today, honestly. You. <laughs> what are you saying? The, it's like 81 you, are today. Are you saying the weather in the United States is not the same everywhere at all times? That is absolutely not what I'm saying. I would never say anything like that ever. All right, let me see here. Where's chat? There's chat. All right, we have to be able to get in here. We can get started playing this awesome new game by YouTuber Pause and Select. Yo. Portal Story. Uh, Wait a minute. What? I've played this before. No, no, you're thinking of Cave Story. No, this is the one where the cake is a lie. No, I don't... Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I like... Talk about lemons and potatoes and... Fat jokes. I have no idea what the hell you're... I'm not... What are you talking about? What? You know, Portal, portal Story. No, I've, I've never played this game before. Hi, Spartan. Uh... What is, so what's Portal story about then? So you play as uh, this, this person named Shell, and you're like in a uh, in prison or some shit, and then like you get a gun that shoots portals, and you uh, have to like. Oh, I think I've I think puzzles. I've seen like like oh is it is that like uh, is this like based off like that Minecraft mod where you have like a gun that shoots portals and stuff? I think so. Yeah. I think okay. So. It's got better graphics though. Ah, really? I don't know. Minecraft looks pretty good. Made by uh, Vapor. Vaporwave. I don't know. Everyone's favorite mean. game company. Vapor. I've never heard of Vaporwave. No, Vapor. Vapor? Like yeah, as the thing in that, like water like water vapor? Yeah, the thing that happens like when water like yeah, steam up yeah. and I'm not no I don't know. Steam, yeah, no vapor. Well it's basically the same. Well, what is the difference between vapor and steam? Oh it's a semantic thing. I'm not really sure. Hold on. Versus steam. What's the difference? Steam is the form of vapor produced when, when the substance is boiled. So, I, 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 so steam is a type of vapor. Ah. Hmm. This is an important distinction to make. Yeah. The you more don't, you know, this, is like... this is an educational stream, all right? 
That's the, probably the last thing you'll learn this tree. <laughs> so yeah, we're playing. Oh my God, my we're playing a game. Up. We've we've just we've completely sold out. We're just making video game streams now. Play, we're we're playing a game made by one of our friends. Uh, his pure we have nepotism. Friends? This is pure nepotism. There is no ethics in the game journalism industry. We need Gamergate 2, all right? Oh. I, I apologize. I apologize for everyone that thought we were, uh, you know, genuine game journalists that uh, had ethics. <laughs> I know there are a lot of you out there, and I think, I think we let you down. But uh... <laughs> what, what's, what's up, gamers? Oh, no, we're becoming Let's What's up, gamers? It's it's the Weeb Crew. Welcome back up, to gamers. another bang. It's the Weeb. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Portal Story, part 395. What is the longest Let's Play in history? Uh, do you mean, like, by part or by, like, time? Oh, These are two both. different questions. Yeah. There could be like a let's play that's like a thousand eight hour parts, and there could be one that's like a tr 10, 000, 20 minute parts. Northern Lions Binding of Isaac series, if you count the original and the reboot as one series, is well over 3,000 episodes and is still going strong. You think you could ever play another game? Yeah, a lot of Binding of Isaac. Yeah, it's like. I guess like. Uh, I didn't realize Binding of Isaac was such a long game. Well, it's just, it's, it's like a roguelike. It's really, that's like the idea is you play it like a bunch of times. Every, every time it's a new experience. Have you, have you played a roguelike before? Uh, not really into like ninja games. Not, well, it's not really like a ninja, never mind. I, I don't even know if ninjas like played it on stream. Y'all need a name for your fans, like other channels that increase parasocial <laughs> engagement. We... <laughs> oh god hello no it needs to be like some, somehow so, something even more embarrassing like weeblets i mean it's basically just built in like we just call them crewmates crewmates <laughs> like some kind of fucking the har mateys all right, are, so we can, welcome to the crew. We can probably get started now there's enough bullshit. All right. So, what are we doing today? Well, We've been sequestered by Pause and Select to play this game. Uh, and while playing this game, we're just going to talk about... We're going to talk about anime that are airing this season. Because there's some good stuff airing this season. Yeah, because i got to have something to do. I'm not playing a game. Right, yeah, you're just watching me play a game. So, let's see here. New game. Uh, new game. Continue. Options. Well, I guess we'll just do... New game. This is the first alpha. Uh, its primary purpose is to demonstrate the core gameplay and serve as an extended vertical sl What? Okay, there's already too much text. This is, All right, you, this is an awful you've game. Already, <laughs> what is an extended vertical slice? Oh, I'll add like on to this game over time. There is still so much left to add. Oh. <laughs> the skeleton. Wait, is there a sound? Hold on. Oh my god, I move so fast too. Oh dear. Wait, how do I open up the menu? Wait, oh, I can click to move. Uh, this kind of looks like uh. Ma how do I open up the story? menu? Is it oh. Maple Story that? You oh. No. Do you like no. work on a farm or something? Why do you have a fire extinguisher in the middle of your living room? That seems unsafe. Where? Oh. Oh yeah. I don't know why that's. I have a massive bathroom. There's not a door. There's also not like a threshold. No. I'm not even really sure if there's not, like. Not really do you have a way to shower? Do you just like use a communal bath? Place. Can't play games right now. Gotta work. Also, why is your AC pointed at a door frame? What are these pipes? Yeah, why? Is it... I assume that they would go to your your I water, might have but to you fix don't. Fix this soon. Yeah, you might have to reposition it to like not be aimed at a fucking door frame where you get like some decent okay, so airflow I going. Is items, U, I, P, R, E, W, Q. No, 
F G H J K. How am I meant to save? I had to fix it. Wait, was that X or is that Z? That's Z. See, baby ink involved in this game. How, God, I think Joe's asleep right now, too. So it's like, how do I open the goddamn menu in the game? Is, did he include controls with this? Hold on. I thought you opened a menu or something. Did I? Hold on. Well, no, I opened. Wait, or maybe. Wait, is I the menu? Oh. Key item, armor, weapon, items in general. Okay. They show why your your couch is just aimed at the doorway. Really, your couch should probably be aimed at that wall and then yeah. like Delete, have a TV no. there or uh, something. So wait, let me see here. So if I no. also your AC should probably not be Right next to your bathroom, aimed at a door frame. This is like, okay. So I wanted to see, was there music or something that I'm missing? This is very quiet. Like, I can't hear anything. Is anything even on? Hold on. So this is a vertical slice for the gameplay, all right? They haven't, they haven't added the music yet. Wait. Surely Joe would have just, like, asked, like, scrolls or someone to make music. Just, should have just put the Mario Sunshine music in there. Oh, that makes it full screen. Um, what the hell, Joe? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me let me um, give me one minute. Give me one minute. Well, well, Sai is trying to figure that out. Uh, anyone been watching anime this season? <laughs> pretty good, pretty good season actually. Oh. Oh, hold, yeah, hold on. I gotta, I'm gonna, like, restart the game. Uh. It is. It is a good season. Watching, we're watching, well, I've watched, like, 15 anime this season. How many of those I will continue, I'm not sure. There uh, we go. Okay. Will be most of them. Okay, options. Oh, there we go, okay. Background, what is M.E. Vaughn? What? Jellyfish is alright so far. Jellyfish is great. Jellyfish is, like, one of the better shows this season, actually. Um, it and, like, Girls Band Cry are, uh, very similar. There we go. Now we have, like, sound effects and stuff. Now it feels like a real game. You're not streaming it on, on Discord. Oh, right, 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 right. God damn it. Lots of anime about music this season. Yeah, you got you got yeah. Girls Band Cry. You got the Jellyfish Can't Swim at Night. Um, you got that Whisper Me of Love song or whatever that is. Um, he became euphonium. What do you mean by this? Wait a minute, that's not mine. The toilet. I should probably put it away. Where would I put it? Where would you put it? You don't... Handy to put out fires. A bookshelf full of books. It's kind of cloudy out there. Oh, nothing about that. Are those, are those clouds? Is that what that's supposed to be? I thought that was like ice. Or like mountains or something. It's, wait, it's really sunny out. Wait. What? Really sunny outside, but then over here it's really cloudy. Kind of cloudy. I mean, that is a good, like, what, seven tiles, eight tiles apart? It could be a, could could be be a whole oh. transition. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Where do we live? What is this? Is this an apartment building? What? <laughs> is this? Okay, well, now. Is this a remake okay. of Jujutsu Kaisen's? Wow, no, Something's stuck in here. Why is there fruit on the bed? That is a good question. Why is there an ATM here? Another bookshelf. Is this an obelisk? Yes, it is. 
But yeah, this seems like it's been like probably the best season since fall 2022 so far. Yeah, it's also the, well, it's also the, ooh, this is just an empty room. Can't believe it. They ran out of budget. Three rooms in. Uh, Train Girls had like a really good, strong like hook for its first episode. Um, yeah. I did enjoy the second episode, but it wasn't. It it didn't quite right stay on the same level as episode one. Which, to be fair, episode one was like kind of crazy. So <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you'd yeah. want to try and stay on that level, but uh, what is... trash? It was what all the trash. Fuck is happening in here. I don't know. I can't even like interact. Is that blood on the what the wait? What is? What is that in the top right? That's uh, a wheelchair. It is? It's a, turned over, it's a wheelchair on its side. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh. Okay, I, I see it. What is this, like Silent Hill now? You got graffiti on the floor? I don't know. How long does this hallway... Okay, so we've got a couple more rooms. We're checking every room. Okay, there's... What is that TV with stocks it, on it? I don't know. Can't interact with it. There's nothing here to interact with. It seems some some crypto bro is just sitting there watching stocks and crypto markets. Was that a vampire ATM? <laughs> oh, it's a piano and someone who has their bed right below their pipes. What are these pipes for? Uh, plumbing. Or a mailing system. They kind of look like the mailing system in uh, Grim Fandango. You got a hard table. That's a very interesting toilet setup, actually. It is. It makes you feel like a champ when you walk down to it. Go to work? You should get to work. Wait. You worked a long shift. You feel... I, I said no. You collapsed it. Wait, what? 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 Wait, why did the game's art style change? Did what I happened? die of like Karo G did I die of overwork? Beneath what? the body is a robe. Take it. Sure. Put on the robe. Oh. Oh, so now we're in the game. I don't know what that first part was. Is that was that meant to be like so I think it was meant to be like the real world, and now we're in a fantasy world that has like a different art style. Can I save now? Can I open up the options, please? Nope. Joe. I need a way to save. You don't need to save. It's a little danger. No sign of life. Yeah, see, there you go. Um, but yeah, been really enjoying the shows this season. Uh, okay. So how yeah. are your favorite Mike and Jay impersonators doing? I don't. I don't know. You should. You should check up on them. I don't. I don't know how they're doing over there. Who would be the Mike and who would be the Jay in this scenario? Click to move is interesting. Yeah, I feel like you got you got a good good amount of eclectic shit going on this Wait. season. Can I attack the box. Um, even though like four shows out of the fifteen I'm watching are just oh. girls fan shows. Wait, do I have to click, or is there another way I can attack stuff? Uh, we did watch Kaiju number eight today. That was that was pretty peak. That was the last thing we watched. Yeah, it was pretty good. I really, I really appreciate like the level of detail they had in the world of like the fucking Kaiju shit. Cause I feel like it's not like uncommon for them to do like a story where it's like Kaiju or like commonplace. Um, I don't know if they go into this level of detail in a lot of them, at least not in, like, anime. 
Right. Well, I like the idea of like a kaiju cleanup crew. Well, not only just that, like even like the detail of like them having a whole like new infrastructure set up based around kaiju. Like you have the fucking kaiju stoplights and people have to like get out of the kaiju lane. Did you watch it on Twitter? No. What do you mean, watch it that... on Twitter? I guess the first episode of Kaiju Number 8 aired on Twitter. Okay. Why? Why not, I guess? I don't, I don't know. I'm not really sure why. I've only heard, like, rumblings about it. I never actually, like, looked into, like, the purpose of it. Um, but yeah, look, production wise, it was really good. I liked, I liked the hand drawn kaiju. Those were nice. Hopefully, this goes better than the than the last thing to get started on Twitter. What was that? No, Ron DeSantis's pre presidential campaign. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hope. How, uh, let's hope kaiju number eight does not turn into Ron DeSantis' kai. Presidential campaign. What if, what, if, what, if, what, if, what if in the anime they fight Donald Trump as a kaiju? That would uh, that would be certainly be interesting. Oh, kaiju number eight will air every episode on Twitter. That's uh, interesting. Interesting. Oh, I remember reading somewhere it's like Twitter is becoming like a video first platform. I did not hear about that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I liked the, I liked the art style. The production was really nice. Wins Kaiji number eight? Oh, Kaiji number eight. I don't know. They've only done two seasons so far, so. I mean, I guess if you want to count core, I guess it's been four seasons, or uh, four core. But, uh, we're still, like, two seasons behind having a. Wait, there's a book here. We can read the book. Kaiji number eight. Can't read the book. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't uh, read the manga for Kaiju number eight, but it has been one of those that's been like on my radar. So I'm assuming it's supposed to be good. I would hope it's supposed to be good. Promising start. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, kind of, like, it kind of has a similar vibe to, um, Ranger Reject and like Dungeon Meshi, which is funny because we're watching both of those in the same group watch. Yeah, yeah, it kind of does, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, it seems like they're not going to stick with the cleaning up kaiju viscera, which is what I would have found the most interesting. Wait, is there another door here? A lot of the interesting door. aspects of kaiju number eight melt away over time. I, I could see that happening because it already seems like they're already shifting away from the as you clean up stuff which was an interesting part of like the world building which i yeah. would not assume is going to be a large part of the show now that he's got like kaiju powers there's a there's a bug here there's a graphical error here joe uh oh all right everyone send him hate mail on twitter yo it's like you have a hat was it <laughs> like a fez is, yeah. can you look down Can't just like change the direction where I'm looking just by quickly tapping. Oh well. Um, is there anything else up here? I don't think so. This corpse is cold. There's no blood. Take the letter. There's a letter. Knight's letter. Page number eight's main character being older is basically irrelevant. He kind of reminds me of the main character of like uh, Space Bros. In like the whole. Uh, giving up on your dream kind of thing and then like coming back around to it when you're like in your 30s. Yeah, because there's no, never of... been another space anime like that to do have a similar kind of thing. Uh, how old was he in Planet Uh, probably in his 20s. <laughs> well, there you go. That's... He's not old. Huh. We're outdoors now. Plus, he kind of has a similar vibe to, uh, yeah, what's his name in, in space? With these controls, if, if combat is not turn-based, we are so fucked. 
Who are you? Wait. It worked? Melancholy did it. Mucha, she opened the gate. It. With Lucian's boys. There's a group in the mountains. They can help. Your people? Not mine, but some friends. M mages like me. They didn't trust Melancholy either. Tell them Elaine sent you. Oh, oh, they're dead. And I can't get the other. And I can't, like, save to see what the other option. Never. God she damn it. A lot of anime tend to throw away cool premises by giving superpowers to the MC. My Hero Academia is kind of a, a good example of that. I feel like that's a pretty common thing in the sense yeah. of like, they know it's an interesting premise and like it's an easy way to establish a character as like an underdog in some capacity. But then like you don't really want to like write that kind of story you're just using as like a shorthand uh and so like Range one, unnamed. it simply and effectively kind of characterizes your character your main character but uh you're kind of almost like introducing or promising like this kind of interesting premise that you are not going to actually like build on why are just like why do why do things detonate now when i hit them uh you got the magic stick? Hey. So if you get hit once, you can hit twice. Yeah, Kaiju number eight and uh UBK. Both uh both good shows. Pick that up. Uh two episodes in, people already hate Mashoka Tensei again. I just see somebody was like, oh, we're, we revived the Mashoku Tensei versus ReZero and the Yuri bait he became euphonium debates. It's a, it's a season of throwbacks. Love to see it. Um, huh? Love to see it. Love to see it. Throwback to the days where they had like more than five good shows airing in a season. And the cancerous discourse, oak bow, arrows, okay. Who is saying Nico Nico numbers for Kaiju number eight were low? I have no idea. I've not heard that. Um, need to watch Hibike. Yeah, it's a good show. Psy good watched show. it recently for the first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I need to start the third season. I need to watch the, the like special or something. 50 gold. There's gold in this game, Mumi. There's gold in them there hills. What is this? Actually, it looks like you're like weapons. A... Select WASD on the weapon inventory and select E to switch weapons. Okay. So 2016 was such a good year. 2016 was pretty good from what I remember. I mean, you had the uh, JoJo HBK season two, Mob Psycho season one. Uh, Rock ago, Sangatsu, yeah, pretty solid. I don't know, did it had the depth though? Like it, it has like a lot of good shows, but how much of a fall off is there after you get out of the top ten? That would be an interesting question. Uh, 2016 was a good year. I feel like that was a year I didn't appreciate what it was hearing. <laughs> Should have, because 2015 was not a very good year, but... Uh, maybe it was because 2014 was, like, so good. I feel like I gotta go down here. Um, say, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I need like the, the big arrows. Tell me where to go. You need the markers on your moving compass. Uh, jellyfish can't swim at night. Uh, been a Pretty good banging, one. Yeah. Has really good like art direction. 
that that and girls I, I feel like that and girls band cry like girls band cry has like had nothing but like interesting visuals like even though like i'm not like a big fan of like cgi but like they utilize it in a way that like ju almost justifies it for me i would still prefer it to be like 2d like good 2d but animation but oh, um okay. there we go. them doing being like so animate uh animated with it helps a lot <laughs> in like stomach like swallowing it i guess what the fuck? Oh yeah, bomb swallow arrows? it, Mumi. Swallow all of it. Uh, some there are some places you swallow jellyfish. That's that's correct. Really weird. Not octopus. Not octopus. Jellyfish. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now we're going south. I think we're supposed to go south. That backflip was indeed. Wait. <laughs> right. The name is written. Here lies Smoke Man. Right, so there's nothing on this one. Okay, well, what about this one? A strange comment is scribbled on the plank. Baited. <laughs> DP on wake up. <laughs> it's, it's interesting that, like, Girls Band Cry and um, Jellyfish Can't Swim at Night are kind of feel so similar, but then they're, like, kind of such different takes on the similar concept yeah um like i feel like jellyfish can't swim at night is more focused on like the inspiration like almost like collaborative communal thing behind like the idea of like forming a band where they're like mm -hmm. all kind of meeting their idols and like con like what uh kind of artistic endeavors like the the idol girl is like, oh, you're my favorite artist, like visual artist or whatever. And the fucking piano girl's like, <laughs> hold on, hold on, literally hold on. idolize. Hmm? Uh, we have our first enemy. I might be fucked. Please don't fuck me. He didn't. He doesn't seem like he's hostile. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't kill him. His health bar is red. Yeah, but health is generally just red. That's like the amount of blood he has in his body. Whoops. That's how that works. Is it? Yeah, totally. I want to get that chest. I want to get back there. Um, but yeah, then Girls Band Cry is kind of more focused on like the emotional aspect. Um, not that there's not like a, a, a pathos to um, Jellyfish like obviously she wants to like prove the people who like doubted her wrong or whatever uh, or cancelled her or whatever fuck but uh, Girls Band Cry is like more focused on like how unhinged the Wait. fucking singer is oh, now they're trying to kill me now they're definitely are, are trying they? to kill me yeah look how they approach Oh, yeah, they hit you. Yep. Why? Why? Oh. Okay, let's. I was let's gonna say, why is that guy just like running at you, you with a bow and arrow? Oh, okay, let's line of sight them, maybe. Hit and run tactics. Uh, yes. Go him. Yeah, dude's about to fuck you. I'm up. not ready to die. Oh. Well, that was stressful. Is that you or the guy saying that? Uh, I don't know. What game uh, are we playing tonight? This is uh, Joe from Pause and Select's game. Portal Story. Portal Story, yeah. Alpha point nine. He shot you through the tree. You fucking suck, dude. Oh my god. I thought you were gonna be the fuck. No! Joe! No, you can't do that! You're like the ah. worst.
worst portal story player I've ever seen. Also, you look like a small child. Why are you going to work? Like your mm -hmm. head is larger than your body. I don't I don't think you're old enough to have a job. Wait, I worked another day. Another day. Oh, wait, what? If I say yes, I survive, but if I say no, I die. Just keep saying yes. See how long you can feel tired. Up oh, and I Oh, you died again. I do like the music in uh, Girls Band Cry. I think that's a nice. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like Girls Dead Monster stuff, which is good. That's that's what I want. If you're gonna make a a band show, it's gonna be music like that. Um. The Train Girl show. I'm not really sure what they're doing with that one. They're cooking. They're cooking something. I mean, I'm interested in seeing where it goes. Because they could definitely, they definitely have set up for like each area. It could almost be like a one piece scenario where like <laughs> every island is like vastly different. Just like every fucking stop on the. Was it the JR line? Whatever, whatever fuck they are. Yeah. Um, is just like different because of how far away it was from the seven G like tower or whatever. Um, like the town that they start off with, everyone's like an animal. This next one, they're all like. Wait, why am I getting different dialogue now? I don't think you're dead. Who's melancholy? That's what he promised he was gonna fix the but uh What? I love post apocalypse shows, so it's been fun to watch so far. It doesn't really feel like a it kinda of feels like a post apocalypse show, but then it kinda of doesn't. Like I I I haven't it doesn't feel like it's the end of the world. It kinda of just feels like they're like in some weird like Flip dimension or something. Like it seems to be implying that like it's just Japan that was affected. Which is interesting. But the art style is really nice on that show. Shimatsu the train setup remind me a lot of Anglophone Bizarro novels. It just takes the most unhinged premise with a peculiar tone and is running with it. Yeah. It it really leaned into it in the first episode. It kind there's still like glimpses of it. It kind of with the second episode was kind of more establishing, I think, the the cast of characters more so than focusing on the world, since obviously they were just driving the train over the fucking water. Fucking spirited away style. <laughs> um, so there wasn't like a whole lot of world building going on. But uh, I don't know. It's interesting. I'm, it being an anime, that Girls Band Cry, Jellyfish Swim at Night, and um, there's one more that's like an anime original, right? Interloper. Cease. I have no quarrel with you. Let me die in peace. Okay. Dignity, quietly. Okay. They got shit on their face. Lost letter. There's a howl to these winds that I can't shake. 
This island is pristine but quiet. All the homes are empty. There's nobody here. Oop, can't shake the... Uh, Lewis fell into a trance the other day. He shouted deeply, then ran into the woods. He keeps talking about a sound in the air. I can't hear it, but the others say they can. This place is old, too old, abandoned for some reason. I heard people comparing it to stuff like Girls Last Two or whatnot. A little bit. I could, I could see some of Girls Last Two in there. I don't know if I would really make that comparison just because Girls Last Tour is like them just being not knowing the world of before and like there's like a you know kind of the stuff that they're discovering but it's this alien to them and so there's like yeah. a melancholy there because it's like oh they, they just have lived in a world they don't know any of this shit um, whereas like this is like very silly and like just kind of having fun with the concept where like it's trying to surprise because like you know definitely obviously if like if you're japanese you would be more familiar with the stuff and like it's going to be introducing these areas and be like oh look these people have mushroom heads now instead of whatever the fuck and you're just like what the fuck So it's it's very different. Um, I could see why people would make that comparison, though. I just don't think it's an apt one, I guess. Um, I can't stop. Hana is waning. Hunger is returning. Ar Arnell hasn't felt it yet, but I have. The fable has also been good. Is that you, Timurad? You're still alive? You won't believe what I found. L a land beneath Ostheim, under the vault of the empty city. What? You're awfully quiet, planning on stealing from me? I made you, Timurad, and I'll end you if I have to. These notes are mine. How are the remakes what? of the season? Um, I've only seen uh, Spice and Wolf, which I've I've enjoyed Spice and Wolf this season so far. Wait. Oh yeah, bartender. I forgot about that. One of Lucian's too. boys. What are you doing? We're on the same side. Oh. Um. Oops. Yeah, Spice Wolf's been pretty good so far. Um, a lot of that's just going to be the off the strength of the, the writing of the light novel. Because <laughs> obviously, like, the characterization of, like, Lawrence and Holo is a large strength of the show. Wait, that was it? Is that the yes. end of the game? <laughs> is that it? Yes. Oh. No. Need to get out of battle. That might be the end of the game. What? I we did it. We beat the game. Doesn't even take me um, back to the menu. I think I think the direction of uh, the Spice Bowl for make though has been good so far. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is just like the detail, the character designs of it. Like they almost seem like too bright in some ways. <laughs> That would be, like, the only thing I would not like. Um, but so far, I've been enjoying it. Yeah. And then yeah. Bartender, I think, is better basically all the way around than the original. Um, also, so what, 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 what is the original like? 
original is more vignette heavy. Um, there was not really much of like a, the, you don't have the whole subplot with the, them trying to get him to work at the hotel. Um, mm. He's not bouncing around to different bars really. And mm. you don't really get any characterization of him outside of the bar. It's just kind of like, it, that, wow! It feels like way more uh, like simple, I guess. Yeah, they kind of just focus on, you know, Eden Hall and like people coming in. Like yeah. you see, like you see, like it, it's kind of like the the lawyer thing, where like you'll see, like typically, like them doing something before going in, and then they go in, and then they're like, they he kind of like use detective skills to figure out what they should drink and. They're usually somehow there's usually like a, a disappointment of like oh why are you giving me this i don't want this or something and then like they're like oh this was just what i needed and it's just that kind of thing um spice wolf remake has definitely stepped down losing a lot of the subtlety of the originals directing which is a which is wild since it's the same guy i'm excited for new content to be adapted though i don't i don't know what the subtlety that's being lost is I, I haven't seen the original in a while I guess but I don't remember there being like a lot of subtleties that are not present in this one I guess um, would you recommend watching the original Spice Wolf for checking out the remake or does it really matter I mean people will probably tell you to watch the original and then watch the new stuff of this one if because people really like the original adaptation. Um, really, this is going to be adapting the same stuff, so you could just watch this without having seen the original. It's just going to be about whatever you want to watch. This isn't like a scenario where it's like... It's not even like a... At least so far, it, it doesn't seem like it's going to be like a Brotherhood or Full Metal Alchemist 03 thing, where it's like Brotherhood kind of speeds through the first part of its adaptation because it assumes that you've already kind of seen it with the original adaptation. And so you kind of like augment it in a way with your knowledge of having seen O3. Um, so it improves it in that way. This, does, this doesn't seem like it's going... It could end up going that route because it seems like this is only, what, two core? Um, and if they're going to adapt everything... Unless the two core they're adapting right now are just going to be mostly what's already been adapted, and then they're going to announce like another yeah. two core or another core or something, um, it, they could end up skipping a bunch. But that kind of remains to be seen so far. Wait, why is this um, corpse moving up? What's moving up? This corpse moved up. Oh. Wait, why is what? <laughs> Is he alive? Are you in battle with him? No. <laughs> what if what? with modern anime having all the same aesthetic, can anything be remotely visually interesting? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't really agree with that. I mean, it's like the original Spice and Wolf was very much like the aesthetic of like, like that period time. of like anime as yeah. well, where it's like, I don't know. Everything just started to look like Code Geass. It being a brain-based property also just kind of makes it look Let like Natsume Jinsho. Like they kind of look like they could just be a Natsume Jinsho or a uh, Bakano character <laughs> sometimes. The original has superb lighting. The original has a very blown up... Yeah, that's that's like my only thing, I think, with the new adaptation is it it's very bright in a way it doesn't really need to be <laughs> um the subtlety is emphasizing the character's loneliness isn't present in the remake the framing of lawrence talking to his horse the focus on holo's loneliness through time well at least it hasn't been present yet i, I don't know if that necessarily means that it's not going to be they could be moving stuff around in a way to make it like you loot the body yes you found a note it reads 
I can't let them know I'm not one of them. Lucian is too particular with his men. And Scroll is just insane. Okay, can I leave? We have become we nostalgic. nostalgic. For the early, yeah. <laughs> we are old now. It was it was bound to happen. Let me out. It uh it inevitable like I remember I feel like I remember the nineties being kind of looked down on for a bit because like Wait the I can't uh, art style like Saber Marionette. Now I can save. Wait. Oh, and his body's now moving again. I think you just... I think this is just the end of the game. Uh, let's do it again. Let's see what happens. So... If you can break it. Yeah, let's see if I can um, break it. But yeah, I feel like I remember, like, people kind of looking down on, like, the 90s art style back in the early 2000s. Or I should, should say 90s art works, style, yes. but... The general aesthetic of like shit like Saber Marionette and Slayers and shit like that. Like people kind of be like, what the fuck? You fucking green ash hair. The second day? No? Hmm? Really? Am I the only Zoomer in chat? Probably not. Probably not. Eh, or me. I don't know. We only have 17 people in here right now, but and what, <laughs> still probably hard, not. That's a sufficient sample size. So you say Wait, yes you're a on the zoomer. first day. Okay. Now what if we say no on the second day? You should get to work. You worked a long shift. Another day of work. Oh. Day three. Interesting. Um. What if I say yes again? Well. How long until people start sincerely saying that kids can't recognize good moe blobs? I mean, that was happening in, like, the early 2010s. People were already shitting on people for not being able to... Or getting filtered by... Uh... Like, yeah. K-On! And, uh, Kinera Mosaic and shit like that. So... <laughs> that's already been what a if thing. I don't take the robe? It's a little cold. You decide to put... Oh, I have no agency. You have no... Choice. What if I just don't get a weapon? I guess that would fuck me at the end. I need to kill that guy. Let's just like run around and see what happens. Well, no, because you know you need a weapon to get through that one part. Um, and do a pacifist run. Oh yeah, earlier. I was interested in the fable, but the trailer kept me away. I'll read the manga eventually, but the anime seems so much lesser. See, it, it, I was worried it was going to be like a hometown hero scenario because the hometown hero manga looked really good. And then watching the first episode of like the anime adaptation was it like two seasons ago, three, se whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. It was like, damn, we need to just read the manga because this is really bad. Um, I feel I don't feel that way about Fable. Um, I guess namely because the direction's been pretty well done uh it's directed by the guy who did like um dogram bottoms um flag Something some other poisonous. stuff uh let me help but, you. uh not sick i have melancholy sickness oh and then he dies again okay there's three different dialogue options Let's say hometown hero. Hometown hero. <laughs> that sounds like a. <laughs> this is like like a mid two thousand like baseball like move like the Sandlot. It kind of more reminds me of like that uh, Chisana Yusha whatever that one with like the fucking dude or the kid that like gets saved with his insulin. Oh, yeah. Peanut butter and then like the invisible dude. 
saving the baby. Uh, um, not hearing. Yeah, I've been enjoying the fable. The ED is really a fucking banger. That might be my favorite ED this season. Oh no, <laughs> fucking the I ED. think it's fine. Can I attack bushes? I can attack bushes. Visually, it's just like whatever. But like, yeah, I do. I do appreciate how it's incorporated. Uh, Cause like it's just very smooth. Oh, yeah, there was it a guy up here. Something. It doesn't do the the standard typical thing of like just doing the hard cut after the ED and then like going into the preview. It just kind of lets the ED continue on a little bit longer and then just shows you the name of the next episode. <laughs> I think that's really pretty cool. Well implemented. Um, There's more up here. Interesting. But I am looking forward to, because uh, it's going to be two, 24 episodes. So maybe it'll be able to be a full adaptation. Careful, friend. We've cleared the path, but hostile men are elsewhere. Take the fork to the left and you'll be in the safe hand, in safe hands. I feel like he might be lying to me. He's red. Is there anything up here even? Ranger Reject's been fun. Has, has a nice style to it. Okay, the game really lags out. And you're just like dying. What the fuck? Um, yeah, it has a nice style, like a aesthetic stuff. I'm. It kind of. It kind of reminds me of Samurai Flamenco in a way. In the sense of like it's commentating on this guy's not hostile, so the kind of Sentai system. Yeah, it's um, interesting. The, the putties are the good guys or something. The putties? Yeah, well, that's what they are in Power Rangers. I mean, that's basically what they are. I don't know if they're the good guys. It's just more like... Well, they're the protagonists, protagonists. Yeah, the protagonists. Um, I don't think there are any good guys among <laughs> between the Rangers that... Like, I feel like it's been, it's one of those things where it's like absolute power corrupts absolutely. And they're just like, oh, mm -hmm. we'll just oh, keep them around there. so that they want to keep us around kind of thing. Uh, which is an interesting, it might, it might be closer to, um, well, the show must go on movie. It might be closer to Astro Fire Sunred, but I haven't seen that. So I'm not sure. What else is there? It's like that um, one's kind of like it's like their job kind of thing. They just fucking fight each other all the time. Um, whereas like Samurai Flamenco, when it's commentating on it, it's more commentating on like the nature of like how one must exist with the other kind of thing. Like him becoming a, a superhero cr basically creates villains for him to More like fight they're just dead hail slave boy you've lasted this long that's good to hear i was worried you were worried of course ever since the gate opened everyone has gone mad no worries i was brought here like you you work for scrawl or lucy i don't know who these characters are hi that i am he's here to help us so i'm here to help him you, of course you do. Captain is mad, but he can help. Uh, he's been holed up, so speak softly. I'm certain he will help. Okay. I feel like an anime not a lot of people are talking about is that Mysterious Disappearances anime. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. I didn't realize that was directed by... Uh... 
what's what's his fucking name? The guy who directed like the Orange Road movie. Um. Don't remember. And so that's Mich Aeneas. Mich Mich sorry then. No, then I'm sorry. Okay. I think it's Tomomi Moki Mochizuki or whatever fuck. Tomomi like Mochizuki, yeah. Um. Yeah, I feel like people just kind of like see it's an etchy and they're just like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it's actually kind of interesting. It is, yeah. Where it's like, again, interesting conceptual body horror. Yeah, because I've not, like, I've seen like that concept done, right? Like them just getting turned into a child. But it's not been like, oh no, you're not like turned into a child. Your body has just been like compressed into the form of a child. Yeah, it's like, like oh, you still have the same mass. That's disgusting. Just like bleeding out of her eyes. Oh. Because her blood volume is like still that of an adult, but pressed into a child's body. It was kind of an interesting concept. Yeah, thorough. And then he like uses like a superpower where he changes like back and forth. Oh, yeah. Plus, that first episode has like a good like, like uh, emotional arc to it as well. I like. Is there anything else up here? Yeah, it seems like it's gonna do the whole like uh, kind of the gay 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 Kitaro kind of thing, um, where they do like a vignette and like it's tied to some kind of emotional core with that character somehow, and it's resolved by the end kind of thing. Which that should be interesting. Um. And Michelle Kutensei is back pissing people off, even though this season has literally done not, not done anything yet. <laughs> I don't know if you have you, you haven't seen the new season need, yet, have you? I need to I need to finish uh, the last season. Oh, you didn't even finish. Okay. No. Damn. The end of the oh, last one was really good. You guys just named Apple Man. Apple Man. Um. And then your your favorite show this season, Windbreaker. Yeah, the blandest thing. There's not enough sex in Windbreaker. There's really not. <laughs> kind of fun. I don't know though. what the hell is happening. This is riveting combat. I don't know what's going. I'm just clicking. Bolus, I'm sorry. What? Can I teabag him? Can you teabag anybody? I don't think so. They get anything we do a genocide run and just kill everyone? I mean, you might as well just try to kill everybody and see if anything happens if you get to an end. Yeah, I want to do a bit more exploring, else. though. Like, I want to feel like I've gotten to see everything, and then I'll do one where I just go through and kill everyone. What's everybody's favorite show been this season so far? Okay. You out of your misery. Oh, hey, why am I getting out, comboed? Oh, okay. Frick, fuck you. I am very Sorry, overpowered. Fish. Loot the body? Yes, I got 40 gold. Gold that I can spend on something. I'm always worried there's gonna be like. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm always worried there's gonna be like a um, show that's airing that like goes under my radar that's like really good. Yeah. I'm 
What up this guy? This guy got a name? Fake Knight. Did you run? Yeah? Nori no Yokai san is your favorite hidden gem of the season. Uh I've seen that around. I haven't actually like take sat down and like actually took a look at it and watched it. Yeah, same. Looks cute though. You got the what this guy what's this guy up to? You got the Tengu Oh go ow. Oh, I see the strongest fucking enemy in this game. Yeah, it might be one that's worth like checking out. Well, now we're only we're already group watching like twenty things this season. <laughs> oh yeah, the new season of Yudu Camp's coming out. I haven't seen the second. I haven't finished the second season. I should say. I'm like four episodes in, I just never finished it. Yeah, uh, Yokai San is a cool blend of slice of life with a dark mystery that must be confronted eventually. Well, slice of life is is one of the better genres. So, I mean, you can sell a show just based on that alone. <laughs> Okay, I got out of combat. Thank God. Now loading. Wait, what? Did you wake up in the real world? Oh. Loading error. Retry? Retry? Big boob mystery show could be interesting if are good at the mystery. We did it. Big... We fail. We broke the game. Hooray! Hooray! The ending of the second season of Yuda Camp is peak. I need to I need to f watch and finish that and uh, Yamano Susume season four. Right? Yeah. I started. I think I. I think I only watched one episode of season four of Yamada Susume, just never got back around to it. I'm surprised how big that show got relatively, because mm. like I remember picking that up in 2013, like as just that fucking uh little five minute <laughs> short thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. Just like the mountain climbing lolly show or whatever. And it was like almost like a fucking joke. And uh then season two was actually pretty good. And now it's like people's unironic fucking anime of the year in pretty sizable numbers. <laughs> Gone through an interesting arc. But that's one I need to finish for uh, anime of the year, anime of the decade, whatever. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not I'm, uh, you do camp. I don't know. That's one that everyone seems to like, and I just wasn't able to get into it as much as everybody else, it seems like. Oh, okay. The music is going like kind of hard now. Hold on. Wait. You're not streaming. I know, I know, but let me. Why the music goes so hard? Hold on, let's, let's listen to it again. Let's let's say the music goes like hard suddenly. Like, whoa, wait, what? Wait for. I'm gonna, I think it's gonna hit the drop now. Another drop in the base. Eventually, we're gonna get. It's gonna hit. Why does this be like completely copyrighted music? I don't know. What we, yeah, it's like. What the fuck? I 
Like, why it gets so nasty all of a sudden? Anyway, um... <laughs> it just goes back. <laughs> So let's see, let's see, let's see if we can figure out like how many days we can survive. So, so let me just open up like a text file real quick just so I can like get this stuff down. So. I've seen all of you do camp, but yes, I am lukewarm on it. Two, it's supposed to be a relaxing three. show, but the soundtrack never shuts up. Uh, I don't know if my problem is with the soundtrack. I think my problem is just generally with how it kind of goes about its concept, I guess. Like, I would want it to be more of, like, a Yashike kind of show. And it doesn't... It'll do that with Rin, but then, like, a lot of it focuses on... Uh, what, Nadeko, Nadeshko, whatever her name is. And uh, the, the outdoor camping club. And it's just kind of more of a comedy focus a lot of the time. Um, I don't know if it... It didn't feel like it strikes as nice of a balance as like uh, Aria or something, as as far as it's like lighthearted, like comedy stuff and uh, more like Yashike kind of. Day three just... is no, okay. And we're on day four. I was a boy day... scout for several years, so it holds a fair bit of sentimental value. Yeah, I mean that's that's I mean that that's I feel like people don't take into consideration those kind of things when they're talking about media enough. So, <laughs> I mean, I definitely could, like, understand. I gotta, like, uh, mute myself. We actually had that this discussion, uh, which we talked, we said we should have recorded <laughs> Um, about like taste and like how it's like, or le I guess less so much like taste, but more like the idea of like what is good taste, or like how you would analyze or like approach media. Um, because I was thinking about it, because we uh, spoilers, I guess, for the next episode of the podcast, we uh, talk a little bit about um the um. Crun uh, not the, the the Reddit Anime of the Year awards. All right, I'm back. What did wait? Hold on. Joe just pinged us saying something. Yeah, just turned on the music. Uh, because it's a so it's using obnoxious stock music. Hell yeah! Let's get the stream copyright claimed. So you. You you feel tired, all right. The so day four must be a no. Then I was saying that we were talking about the other day, um, like taste or like how people fucking view, uh, like media, like analyzing media and something like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, because again, spoiler for I guess for the next episode we talk about, uh. We talk a little bit about the our anime awards. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we were kind of talking about this idea of like, uh, is there like homogenized thought among the panel? Because like people kind of like, oh, uh, this is how I kind of judge this and or approach like this kind of thing. And so I was thinking about it after we talked about it, and I was like, you know, that. That could almost just be applied like more broadly to just anime or just media in general, right? Because <laughs> it's like it's I, I guess on like a base kind of instinctual level or like just wh however you want to put it like a lot of analysis is kind of very post hoc like yeah uh, rationalization of like why you enjoyed something right because right. like without having practiced it at all you're not going to sit there and just um, consume your first like m like movie or something or book and then uh, automatically understand all the parts about it of like what it is you like about it 
So like the idea has been like kind of you have I don't more know why room. when we got so loud. Has room been this loud, so loud the entire time? By the way, I wouldn't know. <laughs> has, Moomy's, has Moomy's audio been like peaking at all for anyone? Um, while we're figuring that out, I guess. But, uh, uh, so. Yeah, this this idea of like this is kind of the standard way to like express what it is that's good because like the the idea that we were talking about with the uh our anime awards one was like oh do, how how much of it could be like people kind of feeling out the the knowing their audience thing where they're like oh this is uh my audio has been fine i guess okay Episode of Game, game Grumps, Grumps looks Grumps. weird. Hey guys, penis. I don't know. What, what do they say? They don't say anything. They can't swear on Game Grumps anymore or something. Uh, no! Don't do it! <laughs> um. But no, like. Uh... just scream the N word on Game Grumps? <laughs> only the real, only the real OGs remember that <laughs> shit. Oh, okay. The music just stopped. Oh no, it's a new song now. Um, yeah, because we were talking about like, oh, do they homogenize thought? Because like, you start almost playing to the audience where you like, you realize, maybe not when you first join, but you realize like after some experience, you're like, oh, this is kind of what they prioritize and like what I, how I can kind of, you know, argue why this show should be number one kind of thing. Um, but then it's like, how much of that actually happens like, just in a widespread sense, right? <laughs> like, how much of this is just like, oh, this is what people pri seem to generally prioritize in discussions and think is quote unquote objectively good or whatever the fuck. And so you then implement that into like you, your, how you analyze uh, media and like kind of approach it. Uh, which I thought so I was like having like a conversation earlier because I just said in like a server I was like, yeah, I don't really feel like I have like standards or anything. Like when I'm watching something, I'm not like, see, it needs to do X, Y, and Z in order to in order to meet my standards. All right, this is the bar, and it needs to meet that bar in order for me to enjoy. It's like that's not. I don't care. I just watch stuff, and I'm just kind of like. Yeah, do whatever, and if it's inter I think it's entertaining, it's entertaining, and if it's not, not I, don't, I don't care, oh well, I'll watch something yeah. else. Well, it's, it's, it, that's the thing, is like, it's almost Fair. like... Like, I'm not a particularly demanding person where it's like, well, no, these, all these characters need to have, like, complex motivation, I, I don't care. I don't care. Am I entertained? Yes or no? Simple as. Yeah, you're, I mean, you're gonna kind of approach a show differently based on like how you just feel about it right 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 and like how you feel about it, it's going to be impacted by just your general preferences like well yeah and it's like well we we're talking about Mishoku Tensei and the part in Mishoku Tensei with um Sarah the archer girl at the start of season two and it's like and, you know she's not like the most like complicated character in the world and, and her function in the story is basically to be like a rebound girl for Rudeus and they were like well, well she's she needs to be like a more complicated character. I have her own stuff going. I'm like, I don't think she. I mean, it'd be fine if she did, but I don't think it's like really necessary. Honestly, it's like, well, I, I think have, that's even well, my like, high standards, and I'm like, I don't, I don't <laughs> care. Like that's like well, I think I, that's even still so selling lame. Sarah short because like she is a quote unquote rebound, but she's also like she's supposed to be very similar to Eris in a way where it's like she he sees Eris in her. Well, that's the thing, yeah, yeah, and so like. The it's highlighting the importance of like you know he sees Ar he he feels like he was rejected by Eris and then like that's why he has he, he problems like incontinence or whatever right and not incontinence impotence impotence, impotence. <laughs> he does he's not shitting, he's just himself. shitting himself um no no he's like he has a problem with like being impotent and then like she she doesn't have the maturity to be able to handle that. Like she's like immediately takes it as a slight against her, like yeah. oh, like something very similar. Like because she 
doesn't have the same depth of like feelings to be like try and understand uh, like a maybe like an heiress might have or um obviously like a what's her name uh Sylphie does uh later on um so like it, it's it's kind of highlighting the importance of like kind of the right people at the right time in your life kind of thing right yeah yeah because like uh that's not really what rudy needs at that point and neither is um who's the one guy he's kind of like a kind of oh shitty. yeah yeah uh his dad essentially but, but it's a different game it's like these are yeah. not really the people that should be helping rudy right now um so i was explaining that I was explaining that and the response was more or less along the lines of like, well, you're just describing what happens in the show. And I'm like, yes. And I, this, see, this is like the thing that like uh, whenever people are like, you know, this, the show is so nothing or like these characters are nothing or whatever. It's like, how am I supposed to like, how are we supposed to talk about that thing? Cause I, I feel like anything I there, then say can more or less just be like dismissed as being insufficient. Or, well, that, I don't okay, know. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, Bishoka Tensei is a good example of that because if you already are not fucking with the show and you, like, have problems with it because you're like, oh, Rudy is a, a asshole or pedophile, whatever the fuck, um, you're not going to engage with it on that level. Right, yeah. And so, like, now all of your interactions with the show and, like, how you consume it is now being, you know, painted in your perception of it being like not insufficient right for whatever reason yeah yeah so like this idea that like there's some kind of standard or object like object uh, right it's like it's like well it's like what am i like this is what i appreciate i'm describing what i pre like i'm not trying to like convince you to like like it or whatever. i'm just trying to like relay what i appreciate about it yeah i think some people like kind of take these discussions and they're like, I want you, which, you know, I, I'm, I appreciate because, like, I, too, want people to, like, convey what they appreciate about stuff. And I would like to try to incorporate that into my pr appreciation of the show, right? Um, but, like, when people come at, like, the, the discussion from, like, a, um, you know, I don't like this show. Why do you like this show? They then are then kind of basically just taking what you were trying to why describe. am i getting wombo comboed what the hell's happening uh you gotta you gotta manage your mobs better um damn you fucking suck you get fucked for real i got i got comboed so hard um oh yeah i'll turn the get fucked um yeah, it's, it's like, I don't know what you want me, like, I'm just trying to, like, yeah, I appreciate what happens in the show, I don't, like, what do you want from me, you know? It, again, it's, it's like, because if that's your perspective or whatever, I mean, it's fine if you're not getting anything out of it, but it's like, well, then this conversation is just going to go nowhere, basically. Yeah. Oh, it's, I always go, like, what? what do you want out of this conversation, right? Right, yeah. It's like, are you trying to convince me to hate the show? That's not one. Well, that's kind of cringe. And also, like... It's, you know, it's kind of like happen. this idea of, like, you are correct. You have to convince other people. I don't know if it's like they want you to dislike the show so much as they want you to recognize they are correct. Like, their opinion is the correct oh, one. Oh, yeah, like, objectively or whatever. I don't, I don't... I don't know if objectively is necessarily, like, on in their thought process about it. Obviously, that's kind of what it boils down to, where it's just like, oh, I am objectively yeah. correct or something. But it's like, this idea of, like, oh, my taste is so... of such a level that, like, I... you can recognize, like, you, wa you like something that is bad, and I am just correct in my opinion assessment that it is a bad show. If that yeah. makes sense. I don't necessarily know right. if it's necessarily like an objective thing. It's, like I, I, it's like, like, I can see where they're coming from, like what their, what their issues are. I'm not going to be like, you know, then it's not necessarily like wrong, but it's also like, have you consider seeing my perspective on this as well? 
Well, your perspective is just what the show is like. Y yeah, you just describe like, the I, show. I appreciate what's in the show. I don't like the. Uh, yeah, like what? Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, do we want to keep playing this, or like I don't know. This is like uh, maybe just a short hour and a hour and a half long stream tonight, just to give Joe some some con. I don't know why he needs this. He he threatened my family though, so I felt compelled. Felt compelled to like play the game a bit. He's gonna he's gonna love our our vod footage with our avatars over it all the time in the chat. <laughs> Well, he said if anyone's going to stream it, so, you know, it's fine. If he just but wanted normal footage of the game, he could just play it himself. Exactly. <sighs> kind of ties to the idea that people think that there can only be one subjective best show out of everything. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't. Is that really a big thing that people like want there to be like a the best show? I do feel like I, I guess like and I they want everyone some, else to like recognize that. So yeah, like I guess I see because like you, I guess you see that in like other fields, right? Where like the goat debate for like a sport or whatever the fuck. Um, I guess like that kind of gets transplanted into others hobbies like anime mm -hmm. where you, i guess sometimes you get people that are like you have to recognize dragon ball as the goat because it's so influential so big blah, blah, you know that kind of thing but i don't know yeah i don't, yeah, I don't yeah. know how big that actually is i don't know if i engage in communities that would give a shit about that enough um yeah for me for me it's like you know when i go into something i don't really go in with like any sort of like expectations I'm just kind of like, all right, well, let's see what it does. And if I vibe with it, if I, I vibe with it. And if not, you know, if I don't, I don't. And if I, if there's stuff that I, if I see what it's doing, if the, if I see what it's doing and I feel like there's things that it could do, it, it could achieve that better. Then that's when I would say like, well, okay, well, this is like the kind of criticism I have. Cause it's like, it's kind of coming from a place of like, well, this is what I think it's doing. This is why I think it would be appropriate if it did this instead and i think it may benefit and make like you know because you don't ever want to make the criticism of a show where you're just like oh yeah it should just be completely different because it's like well it, uh no honestly um yeah just watch a different show yeah uh, it, there's a there's a, a fine line there because it's like you know our criticism of like free run it's like how much of what we suggest should have been different is then right. just making it a different show, you know what I mean? Sure, I mean, I mean that's something, you know, obviously to consider. Um, yeah, I don't know. When watching stuff, like, the idea of, like, holding something to a standard for me is just kind of like, I don't know, it doesn't really make any sense to me, because it's like, I don't, I don't do that. I'm not, it's either, like, I like it, or I don't. It's not like it needs to, like, fulfill some sort of criterion for me to like it, really. I... <clears throat> I feel like I might have been able to consume things in that way like a decade ago. Hmm. I don't know if I necessarily yeah, maybe, did yeah. though. I don't know, I'd have to it's it's kinda hard to like re Yeah. Cause Cause I, just like, kinda, I, know like, I just kinda like look at stuff like again, I just kinda like see what it's doing. It's like uh, if 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 I if, if it's something I'm into, you know. Uh, if, if it's not, if it's like, like a uh, windbreaker would be a good example. Cause I'm like, I'm not really into windbreaker, but it's like, I don't know. It's not cause it meets like, it doesn't meet my standards or whatever. It's just not the kind of thing I'm interested in. I feel, I feel like this idea of like standards is like almost like level two consumption or something. Hmm. Like level one is just like, do I enjoy it? Yes. No kind of binary. Right. Level two is like, is it implement are these like different facets of like kind of the mal review system right yeah are these different facets of like adequate quality or something um i feel like I've, i i can appreciate stuff on that level but like for me when i'm watching something it's usually like um 
kind of like what Pabu said, where it's like, uh, you look for meaning of in the story and what it means to you and like what you can kind of learn from it. Right. Like I, yeah. I, I kind of am deriving, like trying to take like different things where like, uh, what's a good example here recently? Um, like, uh, the gushing over magical girls, right? Like we kind of, like when I was watching that, I'm sitting there like, oh, I could, you could just take this as like on that kind of level two consumption of like, you know, how it's produced, what the animation, how kind of the depth of the characters or whatever. But it was more inter- like, it's, it's kind of the idea of like your enjoyment, it, like it, your enjoyment's going to vary based on like how you're able to enjoy something. Yeah. Like if you don't like something, it's kind of on you kind of thing. Cause like, I got a lot out of it from like the meta aspect of like, I guess the database consumption element of kind of what it seems to be saying about like those who enjoy magical girls of like this kind of certain variety, like the kind of edgy, more adult otaku oriented magical girls. Right. Um, so I got a lot of it from that perspective. Um, that isn't to say that like, that is the the perspective you know what i mean right like, yeah you could you could watch it as just an etchy show like it's kind of like ishizuka reviewers in that way where it's you know you can just watch ishizuka reviewers and enjoy the fucking etchy scenes or the basically like right yeah. and tie. um but they have like this whole commentary going on of like review culture and um kind of building all like the fantasy elements where it's like the world building is uh you know what would an elf find attractive in these stories because they their priorities are going to be so much different um yeah yeah but yeah it's it's, <sighs> it's interesting to think about this kind of thing <laughs> yeah yeah uh i don't really have anything else to do so or or to show off so this might just be like a, a short stream i tried seeing i don't know how the fucking like choose to go to work thing works or not i thought I had it written down correctly. I don't know if it's maybe just like a 50-50 chance or something. Uh, but yeah, so that's probably just going to be the stream for the night, guys. Joe. Joe, if, you need the, if you're watching this and you can't download the footage for whatever reason, just let me know. I, I've been recording, recording the VOD on my end as well, so just let me know about that. And um, yeah, so we'll probably just call it a night here, honestly. Some anime. Yeah, a uh, new podcast episode should go up on uh, podcast platforms on Friday, and then we'll probably do the YouTube upload the Friday after that. So, I'll look out for that. And uh, yeah, so I don't have anything else. So, uh, have a good night, everyone. Good night.